So for this course, we have carefully selected two books for you to read, and we really feel it's important that if you are going to buy a book, that it be of value to you. I know sometimes you don't really need to buy the book for a course, but I think that you are going to really love Catlin Tucker's blended learning book uh, for two reasons. Number one, she is a classroom teacher. She teaches English up in Santa Rosa, and so her book is basically all practical use stuff and things you will actually use and not just full of theory. Uh, the second reason is, is blended learning is so new, but it's it's coming. You are going to be doing some online and blended components as a teacher, if not in the next couple of years, for sure within the next 10. So I think you'll just find it really helps to prepare you um, for what you're going to be doing. So you are going to be reading through the book and then writing reflection. So not summarizing what she wrote, but how you would use what she wrote. Um, and those are some different quests that you can do. The other book that we're using is um, it's this one here. It's called Strategies and Models for Teaching or for Teachers by Paul Egan and Don Kauchak. Um, Paul Egan is a former colleague of mine and this book is really useful in that it provides a lot of different examples of different instructional models. And that's one of the key components of this course that you understand there are different ways of teaching and learning other than just being explained to. And so he goes into detail about all of these different models of instruction that you're going to be doing a, a, a large project on, like uh, collaborative learning, like guided discovery, like concept attainment, and like problem-based learning. So all of those different, uh, different kind of strategies, instructional methodologies, are ones that you're going to be working with directly in the preparation of your lesson plans. Plus, there's a lot of other really current information in here on things like uh, the Common Core State Standards and differentiated instruction, a couple of other important topics in our course. And there's uh, also a section in here on decision-making and reflective practice. Is that ringing a bell now, too? Um, so um, this, will be, this will serve as a really good handbook on learning about really how to start putting your lessons together. Uh, can you talk about their requirement to purchase the book? Sure. Um, when you are working in your uh, on your their book groups, we're going to assign you to a group. Or you're going to be working together as a group to produce a, a video that really describes and provides a model of one of the methods of instruction that's in here. Your group will need to have one of these books. Does that mean each one of you in the class needs to buy one? No. Uh, they are available in the Kennel Bookstore, and they're certainly available on, uh, on Amazon. You can really get any edition you want. You don't have to have the most recent one, although information about the Common Core State Standards will only be in the most recent one. Yeah, so, for sure no. that won't be an issue for them when they start teaching. Absolutely. So 100%. this would give you a little bit of, of background on that. But your group needs to have one. You don't all need to have one of these books. That being said, the, the book is really good, and it does have these different methodologies that you might want to keep referring back to in your student teaching. Um, and while you only have to have one book, it cannot be our problem. <laughs> you got to figure out how to work out with your group. It's how you're going to share it. And if you're having any difficulties with that, just, just buy the book. I don't think you would regret it. It is a good book. So right, far as right. Tucker's book, you know, buy it on Kindle edition. Again, I think it's another good book that you'll want to have in your um, – at no point are you going to have to bring the books to class and use them during class. So if you want to share them, that's fine. Good. 